In this video, we're taking a look at Meet Edgar and Twitter. Twitter has a rule that says in their term of service, you cannot send the same tweet to the same Twitter account more than once. For this reason, you'll notice your tweets do expire once they send from me, Edgar. If you have an evergreen post you'd like to share on Twitter more than once, you can use our variations feature. Variations can be used for any of your social media networks, but it was specifically built to help you reshare evergreen content on Twitter while staying in compliance with their term of service. When I click on this Meet Edgar um, Twitter account down here, I'm going to go ahead and select that I'd like to share one of my Meet Edgar blog posts and go ahead and enter the blog post here. So once I grab my blog post link and add it to the Meet Edgar composer, you can go ahead and establish what you'd like to say in this first variation, whether it be the headline, a story about why you're sharing this, or a different question. Once I'd like to go ahead and tell Edgar that I want to share this multiple times on Twitter, I can scroll down and click to manually add a variation. This pops up a second text box where I can go ahead and introduce this same blog post with a different introduction. So again, go ahead and brainstorm a different headline you could have used, tell a different story about why you're sharing this, or alter the language in some way. One of the best parts of using variations with a URL in it is you'll notice rather than adding a manual variation, I have the option to suggest variations. Our suggested variations uses natural language processing to go in and write your status updates for you. You can see you get five variations created with pull quotes from within that article you've added. Edgar writes these status updates for you and you can go ahead and just scroll down and save them to your library. Variations work in a last in first out rotation. So when this whole post is up from my blog post category on my schedule, the last variation will be the first one to send out. Edgar will then expire it for Twitter. He'll put the whole post to the end of the line within that category. The next time this post comes up in the rotation based on when that category is on your schedule, number four will send out. He'll expire it for Twitter and continue on in that fashion. If you ever want to check on having to add more variations to a post, a great workflow to take is to come to your library, choose your social network as Twitter, scroll down to the last filter that says has publishable variations, go ahead and select it as no. This will filter your library to show you all of your tweets that are completely expired for Twitter. If you'd like to reestablish this within your rotation, simply click edit and add in more variations. So go ahead and batch out some really fun variations to your tweets so that your evergreen content can continue to add value to new Twitter followers as well as those who didn't consume it the first time.